Great job, everyone. Miss Daniels will be here any minute, and I know she will be so pleased. Carrie, why do you volunteer for everything? Don't you ever get exhausted? Hello, Terrence. You know it's my dream to be a big-time director or producer one day. Yeah, yeah. You can never start too early pursuing your career. I know you don't care about things like that. Actually, I'll have you know I'm the stage manager for this year's program. Really? Good for you. Way to step at the plate. I'm assistant director again. Self-appointed? Terrence, you can be such a pest. Good afternoon, everyone. Can everyone hear me? Pastor Jim, why is he here? And where's Miss Daniels? I have some very bad news for all of you. Miss Daniels is very sick. We think she has the flu. This is why we shouldn't have school. This is why we shouldn't have school during the flu season, spring or fall. Shh. As you know, Miss Daniels had directed our program for the past seven years. In her absence, she has asked if we could do a student-run program. Student-run? But that will never meet our past standards of excellence. And Miss Daniels has specifically asked if Carrie would direct it. <gasps> oh, no. This is my big chance. This is my one big chance, your one big chance, and I'm ready to be a star. Oh, Carrie, this could be our breakthrough. And I will take my stance, your one big chance to be adored. How could I shy away from man's applause? We need crowns, myrrh, frankincense, and I wish we could have camels. I can get camels. Really? How? I know a guy. Okay, but they need to be house trained. Not in this one. Gloria, singing auditions aren't until 4 p.m. I know, I know, I... Just, I just felt like it was the right time. You were so right. You will definitely be singing the big number. Yes! Pastor, I will solemnly fulfill my requirements above and beyond expectations. That's great, Carrie. I also have one of I would like to thank my mother for believing in me and Miss Daniels for trusting Carrie? me. Carrie? Yes? Miss Daniels has asked if you can include her niece, Sarah, in the Christmas program. Of course, I don't think I met her, but I can use her. I'm going to need a huge cast. Well, just remember to keep it simple and profound. We want to make sure the focus is on what really matters. Of course, I know just what matters in showbiz. Come along, Terrence. Is it too late to quit? Bring me my megaphone. It's casting time. Don't we need a title for this year's program? Don't worry, I'm thinking of something catchy yet subtle. Easy to remember, but really communicates the heart of this year's Christmas program. How about Silent Night? I've got it. The unbelievable, super fantastic, truly amazing Christmas program.
We need crowns, myrrh, frankincense, and I wish we could have camels. I can get camels. Really? How? I know a guy. Okay, but they need to be house trained. Hello. Hello? Are you one of the maids of milking? No, or at least I don't think so. I'm Sarah, Miss Daniel's niece. She asked me to be in her Christmas program this year. Of course. Great to finally meet you. Sorry I'm late. I got lost in the village. Have you never been to our church before? I think maybe once. Excuse me just a second. Choir, don't just stand around. I want to hear that big finale, and I hope you're not nibbling on those candy canes. Come on, guys, those are for decoration. That's going to eat right into your budget. All right, choir, ready? Get ready to be amazed here with the choir. Choir is now going to sing the Hallelujah Chorus. <gasps> really? Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Terrence, I told you to teach them the hallelujah chorus by handle. And I did handle it. They sound amazing. I loved it. Hey, Carrie, here's the marketing guy I found. This is JT. He lives three houses down from me. It's actually four houses down. Hello, JT. I'm Carrie, and this is Sarah. Hello. So what exactly can we do to fill this auditorium by next Saturday? The key to success is to implement your strategic marketing plan across various media channels in order to maximize attendance and engagement at your event. <laughs> yep, you're hired. Are you sure this kid is in the fourth grade? He's homeschooled. Ah, uh, <laughs> ah, that explains it. Get started right away. I want this place to be packed. I want it to be an extravaganza. Oh, Terrence! Here we go again. Add that to the title. The unbelievable, super fantastic, truly amazing Christmas extravaganza. That seems both verbose and hyperbolic. Translation? I have no idea. Okay, people, run the ice skating numbers. One, two, one, two, three, four. I can't work in conditions! What is it now, Gloria? You see this face! I mean, it's a little dark in here. Exactly, this lighting simply will not do. I have a sparkly gown specifically designed for this program. Her grandmother made her a costume. And it's supposed to shimmer during my big solo. And? And your stage hand won't give me a spotlight. Stage manager, actually? And it's a candlelight version of Silent Night. Special will crest by Pastor. How is my gown supposed to shimmer in candlelight, I ask you? Okay, okay, fine. We'll cut, well, I'll ask Pastor if we can cut Silent Night and do something else. What? Something with more pizzazz. Maybe with, ooh, falling snow? Ooh, that's good. Oh no, not again. And sugar plum fairies. No, why me? What's wrong with you? Just please, not another silly Christmas song. Why do people sing those silly songs on Christmas Eve? Little elves and loud sleigh bells that ring incentively. If you're dreaming of the whitest Christmas, you should know that someone young and nimble has to shovel all that snow. You're looking at him. Drink some water. 
we see the sugar plums a dancing in our hand. We forget the algebra and history we wear. While you go a caroling and jingling those bells, just think of what you're doing to your little kid bring sounds. It's not pretty. Every year they start to sing and earlier I fear As the leaves are turning brown here comes the Christmas tree We must stop the madness or one day you'll soon will spy Folks wearing goofy hats and ugly sweaters in July Too soon people, too soon Carrie, we have a big problem. The backdrop isn't done. What? There was an outbreak among the fifth grade boys. An infectious disease? No, even worse, a new trading card game. Production is behind at least a week. I knew we should have hired professionals. All right, single file and watch the biter. Great timing, Sarah. Camels go right over there. Terrence? I heard you might be getting a little carried away with the Christmas program. You're not really planning to bring live animals in this charge of auditorium, are you? Is that a bad thing? Really? Faster said no to the camels, but it's still a maybe on the six geese a laying. Terrence? Oh, scratch the six geese a laying too. Terrence, I asked you to make sure the program was simple with a clear gospel message. Yes, sir. But Carrie wanted the program to be a big blowout. The program doesn't need to be a big blowout. It could be a spectacular show, but if it fails to present the point of Christmas, it ought just be a big waste. Really? But, Pastor, doesn't everybody already know the Christmas story? No, Terrence, they don't. And what better time than Christmas to share with others the gospel message? Pastor's right, Terrence. I don't really know the point of Christmas, and I really don't know what the gospel story is either. Sure you do, Sarah. It's the story of Jesus that you learned in your church in Sunday school. I never really went to church. This is the most I've been in a church building before. Really? Yep, but I'm really enjoying it so far. Well, I'm going to go check on the ice sculptures. Be right back. No, no, I want the angels descending from the ceiling. Money is no object. Kara, you do realize you don't actually have a budget, right? Okay, okay, fine. They can walk in, but it loses its luster. <laughs> Carrie, there you are. What? I was looking for you. There you are. Oh, I couldn't find you. I looked all over. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> 
So, I don't think Sarah's a believer. A believer in what? My vision for the program? No, I don't think she believes Jesus Christ is her savior. She doesn't even know why he came or why he died. No, no, that can't be right. That's why Miss Daniels wanted her to be in the Christmas program, so she would learn the true message of the Christmas story. But, but she's been rehearsing with us for four weeks. That's what I'm telling you, Carrie. Our program is just one big show. We made it all about ourselves. But it has a whole nativity scene. <laughs> sure, it mentions shepherds, wise men, and the baby Jesus, but it never truly tells the clear gospel message. No, no, that can't be right. Sarah, come here. Hey guys. Sir, you know the reason Jesus of Jesus' birth, right? I know he was born in Bethlehem, in a manger, and the wise men came. But you know why he came, right? No, not really. Sir, I am so sorry we didn't explain this to you earlier. This whole extravaganza has gotten way out of hand. So why did Jesus come on Christmas? He came to die. To die? Why? He was sent from God to be born on earth and live a perfect life and die on the cross. And the reason he died was to take our place and pay our penalty for sin. And God promises that anyone who believes in him shall have eternal life. Do you know Emmanuel, God who dwells with man? Do you know he came to earth, born a humble man? Do you know he lived a life perfect without sin? Do you know he died alone, that you might one day Carrie, are you ready for the Christmas program? Yes, sir. Sarah told me that you told her about Jesus and that she wants to become a Christian. Yes. Pastor Jim, I need to apologize. I made this a big show and all about me. I realized tonight someone could have watched my entire program and never realized the true meaning of Christmas. It's easy for us to get caught up in our own lives and not, need the, not see the lost souls all around us who desperately desperately need to hear about Jesus. I just want it so badly for it to be amazing and fantastic and unbelievable. Carrie, there is no other story you could tell or program you can act 
that is more amazing and more unbelievable than the life-changing story of Jesus Christ. And that's why I changed the whole program to focus on what only matters. So you're not ending with your big closing number? No. I think a candlelight version of Silent Night will do just fine. And most importantly, yes. at the end, I want you to tell the audience how to get saved. I think that's a great idea. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. changing story of Jesus Christ. Sleep.